Hey everyone, how's it going? Going to show you how to add a texture to a vector graphic using Photoshop. Right, first of all, what we're going to need is a texture. So I've already got one open here, just go over to Chrome. And it's in Texture Warehouse. It is a concrete one. Um, I'll put a link in to this one in the description to save you searching about, type, typing this in, etc. So what I'm going to do, you can download it at a higher quality, but just for this tutorial, don't need to bother, bother even. And just going to right click and copy the image. You want to go into Photoshop. So, File, New or Control N, and just use the clipboard because that's the thing we copied. Be the right size and Control V to paste that in. What we're going to need to get now is our vector graphic. Do that. Let's go to File, Open. New logo, open. This is my logo here. It's going to open up. It's going to be pretty huge. You don't need to really edit it. Let's use the transform tools for that. Make it a bit small so I can fit in on top our texture. Hit enter or the tick here to make your changes. Drag this by into this one. Let's make it a wee bit smaller actually. Right, so enter there. Right, so what we got is our vector graphic, our texture, and our background. What we're going to do here quickly is double click our background. Okay, should be unlocked now, and just add a background color here. Give it lightish gray. Right, um, what we're going to make sure is the texture there. So name is texture here. Name is vector. The texture layer is above the vector layer. I know it's hiding it now, but what we're going to do is make sure the texture layer is selected. Where it says normal, go to Click on it and go to Overlay. And this should appear. As you can see, it's already applied the texture within it here. And surprisingly enough, it is really easy just to confine it to the shape. And it seems that it's vector. It's 100% easier than if you're using a raster image. And what we've got to do is right click texture and choose to create clipping mask and that is all there is to it. What you can also do is make sure the texture as uh, texture layer, that's it, is selected go to your move tool and you can move the texture about in there until you get it just the way you want which I think is pretty cool and there you have it texture on your vector. Thanks for watching.